This is a uh, Hoopla World TV. Today is today is Tuesday, the fourth of January, twenty twenty-two, and we are here at the Umwe Recreation Club. The occasion is a free medical outreach. It is going on now. It's going on now. We're still here. The doctors are here. The, the pharmaceutical people are here with the support staff. And uh, if you are in need of medical attention, you know somebody who is. It's a good time for you to just make your way to Umwe Recreation Club. Go to watch how Mweri. It's by the, by the police station there, very close to Access Bank. Um, the corner piece that leads into uh, Chair Road, Sri Majesty, Vesa Benz, Sri Amerika Road. Sri Amerika Road. Yeah, I know to watch I'm weary. So, do join us. Um, I have the pleasure of the company of uh, one of the key people in this program, the free medical outreach which is going on right here at Umwe Recreation Club. Dr. Vincent Ebuna Okechi. A lot of caps. <laughs> A lot of bodies. Chief, sir, doctor, and so many others. See my senior brother and my senior brother. <laughs> we'll get to your brother. Let us talk about you. So, uh, Chief, I, I think doctor is more appropriate for the circumstance. Even calling me without attaching you. <laughs> doesn't matter. So, give us an insight into what is happening here today. What's happening here is that uh, American, Umwere, American uh, heritage in conjunction with uh, the managers and the members of Umwe Recreation Club planned and executed free Medicare, medical outreach for all Umwe, anybody. The Umwe American Foundation based in US, American Heritage Foundation based in US is shared, headed by no other person than one handsome, tall, good man, born in this town, called um, DBC. And the um, head of the um, education club is held by their own chair man, who is a uh, chain of the And uh, we are being called upon to be used as tools in the project. Uh, so far, so good. The project is going well. We have seen a, a patient with cardiac failure. We have seen a patient with a chronic uh, pulmonary disease that needed urgent attention. And uh, my senior, who is uh, Dr. Carr, CP, retired, have done justice. Dr. Carr? Do you mean Dr. Vincent? Yes. Oka? Yes. He is here? Dr. Vincent Oka is here now. Wow. And uh, uh, we've done some referral that need to be followed up uh, to a new good UNTH so that you don't lose your life if you need people to contribute. Okay. So all that things, all that diseases, amen, minor, chronic, um, all that issues have been taken care of. They have enough drugs um, which um, have been used to take care of uh, all ailments, including uh, um, endocrinology and endocrine areas like uh, diabetes, uh, no other non communicable diseases like hypertension. So they've done so well. And uh, the, the two kits, the, the human resources, which include the nurses, the lab scientists, the doctors that have been assembled. They've done very well. We have um, Mrs. Abuchi Ubigwe. We have a Bele Fediora. We have a pharmacist and uh, other nurses and host of others who 
uh, with us. And the moderator, a fine, nice lady, workaholic, who have been standing while we're sitting. Thank you, sir. That's interesting. You mean all these people you're talking about, these specialists? They are specialists, of course. They're presenting different, uh, different. Uh, how, how, how do I say it? Different branches of medicine. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, are, sir. are here. Yes, sir. Mm. I heard you talk about um, uh, about uh, what do you call the people that conduct tests, lab people. Scientists, medical labs. And so they are also here. Yes, yes. Only five medical labs. When she was even school, I knew her. You know, um, mm -hmm. um, at the other place, I Very was nice talking, with talking with somebody, with and we were talking about. Many people were married to him. Uh, okay, and a new person. Enugu, Enugu lady. Yes. Enugu. Yes. Married here. Married And to she's Umwere. part of this. Yes. She's part and of she's this. more Umwere than some Umwere. <laughs> That's the way it ought to be. That's the way it ought to be. It is marriage. Mm. It is it is the closest relation. So if she's married to Umwere, it's understandable uh, that the Umwere spirit uh, will be in her. Mm. That love. Mm. Uh, thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, sir. So how did you, how did this inspiration come? From and uh, how founders. long have you been doing this? Is this the first time? No. Last year we did it on that Chief Johnny Onibo as the chair of Umeri American Heritage. You had a free healthcare like this. And uh, Chief uh, Sir uh, as the chairman of Umeri Christian Club. So they've been doing this. They'll be doing this. Oh, that's serious. Be doing this. So, uh, what was the genesis of it? How did it all begin? What do you say? Then, you know, I told you I'm a two kid. And the, if a teller uses scissors, the <laughs> so scissors doesn't ask teller, how do you use it? I understand so about I'm that. I'm being used. I understand. So, about if that. they tell me to go right, I go right, go mm -hmm. left, I go left. I understand. Stand up, I stand up. Sit down, I sit down. So, I, I understand the, about that. I'm the boy of the house. Mm -hmm. Being used to execute the project. So you are here now. You are here as a medical doctor. This is your this is your consulting <laughs> consulting room yes, sir. Uh, for for now. Yes, sir. And uh, so, what kind of uh, what have you experienced by way of challenges in doing this today? Or yes, today, today, today. Uh, in the course of your work. Do we call it challenge? I don't think the challenge is what we call to do. Uh, the bigger thing we do is that even as we are consulting, we'll be sitting that take us to theatre, but here we're not going to theatre. So it's not a big deal. It's not a challenge because this is our work. If you see a neck cut off, yeah. being on the ground, mm -hmm. we put it back and yeah. start stitching. Yeah, start stitching. Uh, so it's our work. We will not run away. Mm -hmm. You see a, a wound, superus, and the, with maggots or pus in it, we open. Remove the pus, clean off, make the person clean, and God he help me heal. I fear, I fear. No. We don't, That's why I ran away from mercy. We don't do our own. God heals. We don't heal. Everybody yes. thought I was going to be a mercy a doctor. Because Even a, myself thought I was going to be a doctor. Because until I saw somebody that uh, had that, that was in a fire, in a fire incident, and a lot of the skin was gone, and the, the skin was just dropping. And I say, wow, China, somebody could clean this one. That was the way the day I gave up on the vision of being a doctor. Right. I fear on that, truly. You are more intelligent than doctors. <laughs> you are more intelligent than all of us. So yeah. You are a super doctor. <laughs> uh, well, I will not say that's flattery. And you know you're you 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 know you are, you know you are a pastor. I'm and a pastor, you know God man. heals. God heals. So your prayer heals. Amen. So why not a doctor? <laughs> you are right there. Mm -hmm. You are right there. So um, everything has been going on fine. Yeah. yeah, you were mentioning some kind of cases that you had to treat since you came. Yes. Mm. Uh, uh, so many, what has been the most common In fact, complaint? if you come in now, we can see, so you see some young people who has a, a hyperglycemia. That's a, you know, their sugar level is so high that you cannot believe it. Young people. You, you've experienced young, some of them, too. Yes, you? yes. Having a because level uh, random of uh, 500 and something, or 400 or some 400 and something, mm -hmm. and the HbA1c is of a level point one and seven point something, and you know, not much be 4.5 to 6.5, which means how glucose clogs to your own blood. Mm -hmm. So in three months, so you find that so many people are destined to 
you know, live here, yeah. go, either meeting God or meeting who or whatever, according to what he has put on the table for him or her. But with this exercise, people were able to know that ah, they are hybrid. I have seen BP of 190, 180, so some are not aware. So not that aware person, yes, that person will not have knowledge to go and be checking. Start taking drugs. You know, counseling was a major part of the field because if you don't tell someone what is in it and what is ought to expect and what you will be seeing and the solution therein, you've not done any work. Because I've met a woman that said she's been to Bolomi, she's been to Tijos, she's been to Delos, she's been to wherever. I said, Do you? And funny enough, she doesn't know because she said all those hospitals doesn't, didn't work. I said, No, ma. Uh, from all uh, occasions, I found out she's not, she not eligible enough. What ought to have been done by the doctors to, to teach her what diabetes is all about, all about. what she's going to see. So she believed that these people did not do I said, no, they, they gave you good drugs. But what is lacking is counseling. What you need to is, be, nobody cures diabetes. Yes. It's only God that mm -hmm. cures diabetes. Yes. You don't wait for it to come. Once it comes, you manage life is management. Yes. Your car gets old. You manage it. Manage it. You yes. repent. You change the way. You look again. You change the glass. So uh, the same thing with the wall. Yeah, you see the wall, some cake, cobweb, you remove. So human being, as you old, you have to be changing so many of yes. the parts. Yes. You use drug, you do preventive, you use you, you, your meal, what uh, what you eat. So if you go to a doctor, doctor you have to Cancel your what you need to eat, what you need to expect, and the organs are failing. Mommy, if you think that there will be miracle, it's only God that does miracle. Our only is to teach you what to expect and give you drugs. So you need to be on drug until God say, doctor, leave that drug, and he leave the drug. Then when you have checked the sugar, when you have checked the BP, it's normal today, it's normal tomorrow, it's normal next week. Ah, which you will be uh, uh, happy that you are normal. If you, okay, for example, even the BP is coming deep in low, she will give you BP drug. You check BP is 110, the other day is 100. Who we'll say bye bye now? Yes. So, but it's only when we check daily and find out we are uh, normal things, well controlled, that we we'll go back with our drugs. But if we see you being the state, that you look good, no kicking. What, what, what would you say has been the most serious condition that you have experienced in this exercise? That's what I told you, my today. senior. The patient uh, 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 with um, carrier failure, which uh, my senior, Dr. K. Yes. So, and uh, we have to take care together, look at the patient, evaluate the patient, and give uh, advice. Okay, so that the two of you now put heads together. We put her together, but she, he is the one. I yes. said, Dr. K is my senior. Yes, I understand that. Uh -huh. Number two, that he saw the patient. He saw the patient. There was case. Yes. Who is a patient that has some, who shouldn't be able to start saying some yeah. notice on the patient yeah. because he, made some, he must be able to maintain some privacy. Uh, I understand. Uh -huh. But in nutshell, the work case we saw, we saw cardiac failure, we saw a patient with a, a serious a lung disease, mm -hmm. a chronic lung disease. So, okay. That's the worst thing here. So how would you how would you uh, assess everything you have seen so far as a commentary, uh, as mean that these people you have seen today are a representative sample of the people in this area? How what would be your assessment? Does it give you confidence and hope about the general health condition of the people? Or no, does it make it, you it calls for prayer, it calls for awareness, it calls for teaching people to take care of your health. Mm. Many people are not aware they are diabetes, many people are not aware they are hypertensive and things are going on you see that something is old person have high blood sugar. It means we are, you know, dipping so down, you know, like a a, a flat. That is yeah. diving. Yeah. Because these are things that come up. People see this grandmother is the one killing me. Is that woman that built that uh, that is killing me? It's not yes. true. Mm. Check up, check up, check up. Mm. It tells me that we don't do check up. That's why we have if if the person says yes, I'm having this, but he says I'm not aware. 
That's why the other ones, those who are aware also, are not also taking their drugs. So, uh, poorly control diabetes, poorly control hypertension, poorly control some of the not some of the non communicable diseases you find. The other thing I worry. You go to the hospital, they give you drugs, you go home and buy those drugs without knowing that those drugs have side effects. And you buy those drugs for four years and you think you're doing yourself good. You're doing yourself harm. Thank you, Doctor. This is uh, this is uh, World TV, and we are here at the Women Recreation Club. And the program is the Free Medical Outreach um, under the auspices of the Umer American um, Heritage Foundation. And uh, I've been talking here with uh, Doctor Sir Vincent Ebuna, who <laughs> Sir Vincent Okechi, who is one of the doctors who has offered his time to attend to people. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks. God bless you.